Greetings everyone, Slizzle466 here, and in today's video we're going to be looking at some of the best week 4 wild Rise of Shadow decks for laddering. First up we have AORS Jade Druid. Um, this has become kind of the staple Jade Druid we tend to see now. Uh, some of the lists run Hecklebot, some of the lists run Ironwood Golem, some of them omit the Oaken Summons package altogether. Um, but this is probably one of the best lists that you could go with to climb the ladder. Next up we have Concern Mom's Togwaggle Druid. He's been having much success with this on ladder. It is a very highly skilled deck to play, but also very rewarding. And a new addition that you'll see here is the addition of the Oaken Summons package with the Archmage Vargoth and a single Ironwood Golem. Agro Druid is back and doing very well. This is Mentalistic's build, which Trips also worked on and I piloted to top 30 legend last month. And it's a great deck, especially if you're running into a lot of odd paladins and Kingsbane rogues. Next up we have Mech Hunter. Mech Hunter hasn't really changed at all for the Rise of Shadows expansion. Uh, all Dragons list for Masticans Rumble is probably still the best list to go with. Um, again, this is a list that really just bursts your opponents out of control if you can draw the right cards in the right sequence. Secret Mage is also largely untouched, nothing new here, uh, but keep in mind there's a lot of Warlock in the meta, and so Secret Mage is a deck that punishes Warlock. It's also a good deck to deal with big priests if they're causing you issues. Quest Mage is a new archetype which has been introduced for the Rise of Shadows expansion. Cards like Elemental Evocation, Magic Trick, Ray of Frost, Cadgar, Mana Cyclone, Conjurous Calling, all new cards that are making this, this archetype very strong. And this specific build is quite interesting because it goes for the uh, OTK using Giants, but you can also use your Cadgar with your Conjurous Calling to generate a ridiculous boards to OTK your opponent with. Uh, KSR's Exodia Mage is also going quite well. It is also not running any new cards, but it's an excellent list if you want to be punishing big priests, punishing those slow, greedy warlock players. Odd Paladin is probably one of the best decks in the uh, wild mode. The new card that threw Odd Paladin over the edge, as if it wasn't already, was Never Surrender. Um, and just Never Surrender just makes it really awkward for your opponent to deal with your boards. Fan favorite Big Priest is also very strong. Um, this list is unchanged from before, um, but, but you are running some new Rise of Shadow cards, such as Katrina. Um, and as, and um, some lists are running uh, Archmage Vargoth, some lists aren't. Um, currently, uh, Concern Mom is not running it in this specific build. King's Main Rogue has also seen a little bit of a power creep. Uh, Evil Miscreant is now a card that's finding its way in the King's Main Rogue lists. Um, this really helps the King's Main matchups against aggressive decks, which are, it's typically unfavored against. Uh, it also gives you um, some nice combo enablers for your raiding party. And just that 3 mana 1-5 is really good for trading off little recruits if you're queuing into a lot of paladins. Even Shaman is still pretty good. Uh, nothing new being run in it. Um, it has dropped in power level a little bit though since it's kind of just playing stats on the board. Uh, so you'll see it Wind Fury tech here. And this just helps you cheese out some wins, throwing it onto a Flame Wreath Faceless or a Drenai Totem Carver to catch your opponent off guard. The Galaka Crawlers are also a tech, but um, against the Paladins and Kingsbane Rogues, so if you're not queuing into a lot of pirate based decks, you might want to consider swapping them out for something else. Murloc Shaman has turned out to be quite powerful. Um, this specific build by Gank playing, I've been playing a lot on ladder myself. Um, I play, I've gone from rank 4 to almost rank 2 with it, and what throws this deck over the edge is the Underbelly Angler. Just being able to generate more Murlocs in your hand is incredible value, and Gangplaying has taken this 
advantage even further by including Murloc Tiny Fin. So basically like zero mana, one one, get a get a Murloc. It's just incredible. So I really like the the Murloc Tiny Fin addition to the deck. You'll also notice that the quest is not in this deck. Um, the quest is too slow for wild. You don't want to be playing your quest on turn one. You want to be playing minions on turn one to gain board advantage. Cube Lock is also still quite good. I uh, get me out hit legend with Cube Lock last month. Um, nothing specifically new here, um, but you will see Aziliax has been introduced to the list as well as Doomsayers, just to help deal with all the aggression in the meta. Mechathune Lock is also doing quite well. Uh, this is the same list that I featured previously. Uh, again, keep in mind that the Doomsayer and the Treachery is a tech um, to deal with things like Darkest Hour Warlocks and Big Priests. So if you're not curious of those matchups, you might want to consider putting in some other cards instead. Zulok has also come back into the meta. Um, Hadadagami reached top 10 legend with this specific list. It's a Keleseth Heal Zoo, and the card that really makes this deck powerful is the Magic Carpet. This 3 mana 1 6, which is very hard to clear, giving you all these minions with rush with increased attack. It makes it a very good deck if you're queuing into a lot of Odd Paladins, Kingsbane Rogues, just to swarm them with boards they can't deal with. Darkest Hour Warlock um, is also, I, I don't think it's particularly that good. But when you do high roll with it, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm featuring the same deck as before um, by M3S. It's just, it's, it's a very fun deck. It can also be very obnoxious. It's also very expensive. So I wouldn't recommend crafting this deck. But if you've got the cards, give it a shot. Maybe you'll have a bit of fun with it. Reno Warlock is back. So we finally have a Reno deck in the meta. Um, Reno decks are typically slow to adapt because they need to be teched so carefully. Uh, Modius actually finished rank 1 legend with this list last month. Um, it's teched for the current meta, so you'll see there's a Skulking Geist in there for the Jade Druids. There's a Gluttonous Ooze in there for the Kingsbean Rogues. Um, just a really solid Reno lock list to climb with. Evenlock is also doing quite well. Uh, Trips hit triple legend on all three servers last month with this specific list. It's running Chink Cheeky Ankle Biter, which is not a new card from Rise of Shadows, but it is a cute little card that can sneak in lethals or enable your defiles, things like that. And he's also running Aranasi Broodmother, which is a six mana four six taunt. When you draw it, you get you uh, heal for four. If you want to rank up and tank up, Concerned Mom's Odd Warrior is also an excellent choice to battle with the aggression. Do keep in mind here that the Mind Control tech is a tech card in the list. Uh, it's in there to deal with Darkest Hour Warlocks, Big Priests, and to a certain extent, even Shaman, though the deck's already favored against that archetype. Um, if you're finding the Mind Control techs aren't helping you, you might want to tech in the Cold Light Oracle Brand Bronzebeard combo instead. And last of all, we have good old Pirate Warrior. Nothing's really changed with the list. It's also dropped in power level quite a fair bit, but if you want to have a blast of the past and punish punish some opponents not prepared, mulliganing for the wrong deck, Pirate Warrior is a deck you might find some success with. As usual, you will find all of the deck codes in the description below. If there are any decks that you think you should have seen here that are missing, or decks that you've had success with and maybe haven't been picked up on social media, let me know in the comments below. Um, otherwise, if you want to support the channel, you can hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for a notification, and until next time, I hope to see you again. Also, for that even Shaman deck, take out those two Galaka Crawlers, put in two weaponized Pinatas, you will get rank one legend. I guarantee it.